Welcome to today's episode of the Comeback Podcast with your host, Mark Jennison, founder and creator of the Comeback Movement, the man who's going to change your life. Today's topic is quit taking an emotional shit on everybody and then doing nothing about it. Sit back, enjoy the show. Let's roll. So this goes out to the excuse makers. This goes out to the crybabies. This goes out to the man who doesn't want to own up to his actions, doesn't want to stand up for himself, wants to walk around spread his shit all over people. I deal with these guys day in and day out. I shouldn't say so much me. My clients that come in and talk with me are guys that are ready to be prepared, win, and fucking knock out the day and make some shit happen. But that doesn't mean, in order to be my client, that I go through hundreds of other men who are just looking to get the shit off their chest, cry about it, and do nothing. They feel like inside of their mind, they're like, you know what, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna emotionally dump this garbage on somebody, hope that he can pick up the pieces, hope that my wife can pick up the pieces, hope that my kids can pick up the pieces, and I'm gonna do nothing about it. Then I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna jump right back into where the fuck I was at. I'm gonna hit up the bar, I'm gonna lie, I'm gonna sedate, I'm gonna go out, I'm gonna cheat on my wife, I'm gonna be a fucking asshole, and then I'm gonna cry a victim. Then I'm gonna walk around, and I'm gonna dump my shit on everybody else. Because why? I'm a selfish prick. And I think the world revolves around me. And I think my problems are worse than everybody else's. And I can't do nothing about them. But if I can dump it off and clear a little space, and then I keep fucking building space for myself in my head to go back and just keep hurting myself and hurting myself and hurting myself and blaming it on my kids that they're not giving me enough time or they're fucking brats and my wife is nagging at me all the time because I'm drunk and my business is so stressful and ends are trying to meet. When the truth is, it's all your fucking fault. And because you're too much of a little bitch to be able to own that, you want to dump your shit on everybody else. Period. If that resonates with you, you should probably get rid of this right now. You should probably hang up from this and not listen to me because the truth is I'm not for you. But if it does resonate with you and you're like, you know what? Inside of me, I know that's not who I want to be. And here's the thing. I did a podcast yesterday. We were talking about it. They're asking about a point if I ever had a victim mentality. At what point did I did I lose the victim mentality to become this man that I am today? Now, I never really had a victim mentality. That doesn't mean that I didn't have thoughts inside of my head that said, why me? Why, why am I struggling with this? You know, why is what why is this person able to do things and I can't? It doesn't mean that I don't have questions. But never once did I believe that it was their fault. Never once did I put my shit on somebody else. I would internalize it and I would beat the fuck out of myself day in and day out. I want to talk to you right now who thinks that by healing themselves, by walking around and spreading their shit out other people, taking an emotional dump on them day in and day out, you're doing nothing for anyone around yourself. You're doing nothing for your family. You're doing nothing for your future. You're doing nothing for your business. And you look like a little bitch. Period. The question I have for you today is, are you ready to fucking do something about it? Are you ready to stop taking your problems, putting them on other people, and owning them up to them. I understand this can be difficult, and I understand after years and years and years of routine habit dysfunction that you have created by walking around and putting the heaviness, the burden on your wife, who should be your queen and should be fucking standing next to you, on your kids who you're making depressed, making them eat more, making them fucking antisocial with their friends because you're dumping your shit on them. I understand all these things that you do is difficult, but I need you to understand this. You can make a decision today. You can clear out your head. You can create space for yourself. You can stop the victim mindset today, step up to the plate, and be the fucking man that you want to be. But it's going to require a choice. Period. There is no lesson inside of today's episode. This is just straight from the heart. Either you want to do something about it or you don't. And if you don't, get the fuck out of here. I don't want to talk to you. I don't want you to hear my message. I don't care. But if you right now today are listening to this and you know that you have a calling inside, there's a voice that's ringing out to you every single day telling you that you need to do more, telling you that today is the day you need to step up, but you just can't make that connection. You just can't get from your hell to your heaven, but you know it's possible because you fucking peeked around the corner. You've seen guys like myself. You've seen hundreds of other men or people you know in your real world that you talk to day and day, and you see them living this life that you want. If you are that man, I want to help you. But it's going to require a little bit of work, period. It's going to take some frustration. It's going to take some anger. It's going to take some deep diving inside. 
It's gonna take time for you to actually stop what you're doing your day in day out. It's gonna take you going to the gym and working on your mind. It's gonna take you reading. It's gonna take you changing the fucking DNA code of who you are, implementing this new core value system that we live by, which is called the comeback. It's a way of life, it's a lifestyle. But it's requiring you to make a choice today. My brother, today, are you ready to fucking stand up? And even if you don't click this link or message us, I don't care. No matter how it gets done, it needs to get done. Is today the day you're going to be reborn? Is today the day you're going to put down the drink? Is the day today that you're going to stop being a slave to the victim mentality that you've been living for, living to for so long and become the fucking warrior within? Become the fucking champion you see inside of your head. Become the winner that your mom told you were and your kid but somehow you lost attachment to. Let's just sit in silence there for a couple seconds because it's heavy. It's a tough decision. It's scary. You know what's more scary? Taking your emotional shit on every single person that you love day in and day out. Spreading your problems all over them like manure, like a fucking farmer's field. And planting seeds in deep-rooted kids. Kids, kids, kids down the road that they don't fucking deserve. Click the link below, as always. It shouldn't be below. It's actually, you're going to have to type it in. Click the link, Iamacomeback.com, or type it in the, the headline bar. Iamacomeback.com forward slash apply. Iamacomeback.com forward slash apply. My team, myself, we will reach out to you. We will help you figure out how to get through this. We will leave you better than we found you. But I am only looking for winners. I am only looking for businessmen, ultra fucking successful people. You know what? Not so much about the money, but guys who have that success-driven DNA who want it. I want to be real clear here. I am not for everybody. I don't care about everybody. I care about you. Click the link or type in the link. Fill out the application and let's change your life. Have an amazing day. We'll see you on tomorrow's episode of the Comeback Podcast.